Today, I'm gonna to talk about five niche topics that are all using Unreal Engine 5 to create amazing things and generate a lot of income. This isn't gonna be a get rich quick scheme video. I also want to avoid general things like build the next Fortnite, make a ton of money. This is going to be more of an analysis of emerging tech that's impacting and changing the VFX industry and how you can get in on it yourself. So if you guys enjoy, leaving a like is always appreciated. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to join our community for more videos like this, and let's dive in and get started. Number one, real-time 3D combined with AI. With the recent explosion of AI, we've been able to see glimpses of how this technology will shape our industry. Here's a proof of concept video of an AI assistant designer. By connecting an Unreal Engine metahuman with AI like ChatGPT, Whisper, and Stable Diffusion, we've opened doors of opportunity for a lot of exciting things. That's just one example. Imagine a real-time chatbot with a face that can answer any customer questions. Or imagine NPCs in a game that can react to your vocal commands. Speaking of which, this is Convey AI, one of the methods that allows the connection of ChatGPT and metahumans. They show how different industries can benefit from tech like this. Subjects do you teach? I teach grade 11 chemistry at Valleymore High School. I help take care of our patients following surgery. I hear you're a tour guide. Yes, that's right. I've been guiding tourists around Venice for over 10 years now. But I also think the dialogue in this is pretty hilarious at this point. Very well. Follow me. I will take you to the high spirit. So yeah, it goes to show we're super new into this. There's not a lot of info out there. We're really just in a testing the water stage. And that's why I think it's the perfect middle ground for people like you to dive in and create some amazing things that can potentially change your life and the life of others. Number two is virtual influencers. There's a lot of things I like about this and there's a lot of things I dislike. So what if I told you that this girl who has 3 million followers on Instagram isn't real? She was made in a 3D software. I mean, we live in a pretty bizarre world right now. This VTuber AI angel who has over 600,000 subscribers, I'm pretty sure is just a dude with a voice changer who's really smart. For content, and you get content out of it. The influencer industry is a billion dollar industry, and you're starting to see a lot of people start to pick up on that and streamline the process by creating their own digital influencers. So should you start pumping out robot avatars to try and make a ton of money? I don't think it's that simple. Let's take a look at one example of a successful VTuber project and then one example of a failed VTuber project, and we'll try and point out some of the core differences. Successful VTuber project is Code Miko. Code Miko uses the tech of Unreal Engine to create real-time functions that her stream can interact with. With a virtual influencer, you can include technology with your content and give a truly unique experience. And that's something that any up and coming creator can get into early and make a killing if they do correctly. So what I dislike, using a 3D character as a gimmick to cover up the lack of human creativity or ingenuity behind the project. So to give you an example of this, there was a digital project called FN Mecca. It racked up millions of views on TikTok. The idea was interesting, making viral trendy content with a unique spin. Then we see that 3D character get a record label deal, and then there ended up being a huge controversy behind the team stealing some person's voice for the song and not crediting or paying him, which caused a lot of backlash. Well, that wouldn't be the voice of it. And I thought it was going to be like some collaboration. They promised me equity into the company, percentages. So if this is something you're interested in, learn from those examples I've been showing. It's better to create something that can provide unique experiences in a new way using tools like Unreal Engine as opposed to trying to replace human beings with soulless money-grabbing robots. Number three is virtual production in the film industry. Two weeks ago, Unreal Engine released a spotlight behind the scenes for how they created this music video using virtual production. I'm going to play a few clips from this where they talk about all of the advantages of virtual production and how it's changing the industry. One of the joys of actually working in virtual production is that you can put the camera anywhere you want and find shots. It's not like it's a prescribed, we're doing this angle and there's a budget to do the compositing and the roto and the tracking. It's fair game. You can create as many shots as you want without adding any more expense than just being on the stage to begin with. If this particular angle doesn't look great or if there's some piece of architecture that you want to just get in frame, it's easy, right? You just move a 20-story building 100 feet and, and it works, you know? Link to that full video will be down below. Highly recommend you check that out. They talk about a lot of different cool things you can do with Unreal Engine 
in comparison to the traditional way of producing things at this scale. There's also been an emergence of other new types of media like the ultra realism animated shorts in shows like Love, Death, Robots. My point is the film industry is catching onto these tools and leveraging them. It's new, there's room for people to make a name for themselves experimenting and showing others that they have that expertise. There's a high demand and a lot of these things are looking like they could become the new norm for filmmaking. In terms of how you can make money with virtual production, you could create a virtual production agency selling niche services. If you show a client that you know how to do something different and unique, then you can charge a large amount of money to create whatever it is you want. Number four is virtual reality and augmented reality. Now, the main reasoning for me putting this on the list is because of the billions of dollars which are being pumped into this industry. I still think a lot of this is in its infant stages, but there is a lot of rising interest in creating experiences, interconnecting virtual reality or augmented reality with different products, games, and more. I've tried VR gaming, I've tried VR experiences in museums and things like that. It's cool, but it's not enough to be mainstream right now. With all the cash flowing in, the hardware ever improving, they just announced the Quest 3. I know Apple's trying to get into the game with VR headsets. Everyone's trying to plant the flag before it becomes the next big thing. I think we're going to see a real boom in VR and AR in the next five to 10 years. And think about that statement. Imagine if you could be in a position to learn all about crypto investing in the years before it exploded. Imagine if you could go back in time and learn about coding or real estate before things ballooned. Of course, anything can happen. Life can be a gamble. But if you invest in the skills during the early days of something, it could pay off tremendously. Number five is interconnective marketplace. We live in a world where you can buy anything at the click of a button online. There's many ways you can take advantage of that by selling different asset packs, developing plugins, or other ways of leveraging digital sales. For example, you could create modular kits, which you sell on the Unreal Engine marketplace. You could dive into procedural generation and sell that as a service or a product. You can build an expertise and sell knowledge, or you can create a productized service where you take any ideas that I list in the video or you have yourself and you charge a monthly rate to produce that for a client. So those are some general ideas for how you could become rich by leveraging the interconnective marketplace. I think to end it off, the best analogy I can use for this is whenever there's a gold rush, the people who truly get rich are the ones that sell the shovels. So take with that what you will. Those were just some general ideas. I started off by having interest into editing and through making these tutorials, I started to develop an interest in so many different things related to visual effects. I was like a kid following a candy trail and I think that's a good way to look at it. You don't have to stress over how to make money, how to do this, blah, blah, blah. You just need to have an interest and an open mind towards new things. Give them a try and even if you fail along the way, you're still developing your skill set and compounding something into true value that can last a long time. So if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like down below. If you want to see any step-by-step -step tutorials on any of these specific things I mentioned, obviously I'm not going to be trying to build a million dollar thing from scratch. I'll show you the basics of some of these general concepts that I've been explaining step-by-step -step because that's what I do. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Spark some conversation. I'll be down in the comments replying to as many people as I can. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting, and I'll see you guys in the next one.